Hi my Libras, it's Jamie Zebra 23 I am doing your week of January 23rd general tarot card reading for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. I'm using the Rider Waite deck. Um, I pulled five cards. It's a, a weekly. Um, yeah, I am on Facebook. It's Jamie Zebra 23 You should like me. I um, advertise reading specials. Um, I post interesting things about spirituality, spiritual awakenings, um, protection protocols, all, all sorts of good stuff. Also, if you'd like a personal reading, you can email me at jamiezebra23 at gmail.com. Readings are $25 for 15 minutes, $50 for 30 minutes, and $75 for 50 minutes, five zero minutes. Um, readings done over the phone or through Skype. The method of payment is PayPal. All of this will be in the description box. I also do a one question, one answer for $5 via email only. All right, Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising, let's jump right in. You got the Ten of Cups. You got the Six of Wands. You got the Hanged Man. You got the Eight of Cups. And then you've got the Eight of Wands. So, okay, a lot of you Libras are in a relationship with a water sign, um, a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio, or you could possibly um, be reuniting with family. So if these are, you know, teenage children that are, you know, finding their parents after years, or um, if there was, if their relationship was rocky with, with a family member that was a water sign, maybe a brother or a sister or a cousin, or um, if you haven't seen your own children, you could be reuniting and meeting grandchildren. This is a, definitely a positive card. Or you've got um, uh, adult children and their family, you know, with mom, like a, a husband, your, maybe your son or daughter, and their wife, husband or wife, and then like a, I feel like it's going to be two kids. Maybe they're going to have to stay with you for a little while and you're really excited about that. Um, it's saying that everything will be victorious. Um, I do feel a little bit of burden or a little bit of anxiety surrounding this, but it looks like uh, things will go in everyone's favor. Um, then we've got the hanged man here. So the hanged man here is talking about um, uh, stagnation in life. You feel like you're in limbo in the middle of a transition. You don't quite know which way you're going, if you're going the right way. But basically, there is no wrong way. You know, life is about movement and progression. You've got to, you know, there's going to be highs, there's going to be lows. That's what this is about. Also, you've got the Eight of Cups. So the Eight of Cups is symbolizing with all of this here that possibly um, this water sign person um, may leave upset or um, may, maybe they're going to leave and maybe leave their children behind. Um, for some of you, whoever this water sign is, they may feel like um, staying with you or uh, depending on you is like a, a free ticket to go clubbing or... To not show back up at home because they've got a free babysitter, that sort of thing. Somebody may be um, um, taking advantage of the help that they're getting. All right, Libra. And then we've got the Eight of Wands. So the Eight of Wands is saying that somebody's going to put a stop to this real quick. Um, that, that they're not going to have this going on in their home. That they're going to say, okay, either you know, you're going to stay and take care of your responsibilities or you're going to have to get out. Everybody's going to have to go. All right, so now... Some of you are getting married, maybe possibly to a, um, a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio. It should be victorious, okay? Um, for a while there, there was a little bit of limbo whether or not the relationship was going to progress, but it's showing here that it definitely will, okay? Um, I feel like, yeah, because there was limbo going on, I feel like um, some of you you guys uh, had, had broken up with a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio person, but see how the cups are still stacked over there? That means that, they're, that they were planning on coming back all along. Okay, so there will be love. It'll come quick. Everything will be great. And for those of you that are dealing with a fire sign, a Sagittarius, a Leo, or an Aries, it's saying that um, seeds were well planted. So let's say you were in a relationship with a, with a Sagittarius, a Leo, or an Aries, and you guys broke up. It's saying that they are missing you. They're missing everything about you. And that's why they're coming back to you, because you were so good to them. Um, and it will be victorious. Okay. And then for some of you, um, you're, you don't quite know what to do whether with uh, financial situations. You're kind of in a transition or limbo. Some of you will be getting new jobs. Some of you are looking for new jobs. It's saying here that things will work. Um, some of you are abandoning old things for new things. Um, it's saying that it'll work in your favor. Good things are coming your way. Also, there is a fire sign for some of you, um, Libras, that um, you don't know still wants to be with you. Maybe this person walked away and you you were completely and totally sure this person had wanted nothing to do with you but what it's showing here is that there's arrows of love and they're coming back in quickly it looks like they're probably going to come back this the week of january 23rd 2017 um
but it looks like maybe towards the end of the week at the latest you know monday morning but things are looking good for you guys all right like share subscribe ta-ta for now